Hello guys, welcome back to my channel Democratic Data. We are going to start off with a new series of tips and tricks about Python. And this is the first session that I am going to show you guys. And the topic of today's tips and tricks part one is about mostly lists and strings. Let's see what we have in store. So we all know that in case of lists, there are various functions. So we will first try to see what is the difference between sort and sorted. So let's say we have a string uh, with some random numbers, seven, six, five, three, four, one, and two. And then uh, what we will be doing is that we will apply the function sort on it. So when we apply num.sort on the list, let's see what the output is uh, so and we'll and we'll do print num and see what the output comes about so as you can see the initial list itself got self indexed and it was arranged from uh, in an ascending order However, let's see how the sorted function is different. So here we again give in the same uh, list items as in the case before and see how this is different. So what we will do, we will take another uh, assign this sorted list into another list and then compare the outputs of the two. So as you can see in this case, the initial list uh, which was the num2 that was kept as it is. However, the new uh, list in which the on which it was stored has actually been sorted from the ascending to the descending order. So this is quite clear that in case of <coughs> sorted, it actually keeps the original list as it is and it then uh, sorts into and saves it into another list. Another major difference between sort and sorted is sort is only a list specific function whereas sorted can be applied to uh, all kinds of iterable data structures. So this was about sort and sorted but let's now uh, go into some other important uh, functions as well for example reversing a list suppose you have a certain list and you want to print it in the reverse order from from the end to the first so the trick that we apply out here is calling the negative index of that specific list and the format in which we should be doing is something like this so the colon colon minus one actually indicates to sort the list starting from the end to the first and then it gets printed as you can see. So the next uh, important function that we will like to look in case of lists is merging contents of two different lists and doing operations on them. For this, we will be having a very simple example of actually merging two lists uh, using uh, a for loop and let's see what the output is. So we will be taking here uh, two lists, one having one, three and five and the other list will have the elements two, four and six. And let's see how we can actually merge the elements of a list with, with same indexing. So here, what we will do, we will be indexing the two lists as i and j and the function that we will be using is called zip. So what zip does is actually puts the same iterative indexing for the 
both the lists and but it's important thing both the lists should be of the same length so as you can see when we uh, run this uh, piece of code it will be giving us an output which would be like one two three four five six so for every i and j element it it captures that and prints it out so the next uh, important part that we are going to do and we'll just do an introduction of it and we will be covering that more in the next video we will do some simple functions on strings related with lists so let's have a string which says python is a programming language and now what we want to do is to split this string into separate elements where each of the elements would be a part of a string so here we would be using the split function use, using the separator a single space because that is the separator which is there in the string and as you can see in the output it has been separated into separate elements in a list now we will do just the reverse of this so let's actually put this output list as an input and we would try to merge it into a single string let's see how we can do that So in case of merging a list of elements into a single string, whereas in the previous case we used split, in this case we would be using the function join. So as you can see the syntax would be starting off with the separator element which in this case would be a single space and then we would be applying the dot join function on that string. And you will find that it will get converted into a single string. So that was all from me today in this small session. So I would be also putting up new content related to other Python tricks and tips. Please do like, share and subscribe my channel and press the bell icon for latest updates on this content.